Hello, I'm Peter Ryan. Welcome to the Simplex Spotlight video series where we take an in-depth look at our products and other topics related to Simplex fire detection. Hi, I'm Paul Votor. Today we turn the spotlight on the XAD remote duct detector, a perfect solution for duct detector installations with poor accessibility, challenging airflow, or high moisture content. As an industry, we have traditionally approached duct detectors the same way, by attaching them directly to the duct and installing sampling and exhaust tubes into the duct itself. The tubes allow the air flowing through the duct to be sampled, tested, and exhausted back into the HVAC system. Mounting duct detectors directly to the duct can create challenges in accessibility for testing, service, and maintenance. You can see that this duct detector has a test port where canned smoke can be introduced. Pretty straightforward, but imagine this unit mounted onto a duct that is above the ceiling and difficult to get to. In fact, it is not uncommon to find a duct detector mounted in a location where it can only be accessed for testing or service by using a lift. This is expensive and can discourage testing or maintaining duct detectors. Over time, this lack of service could result in nuisance alarms. The XAD remote duct detector takes a new approach. Instead of relying on the airflow through the duct, the XAD actively draws air through the sampling tube using a fan. This means that the XAD hardware does not have to be mounted on the duct. Instead, it can be installed in a location where it is easily accessible. This diagram shows a typical XAD installation. Like a traditional duct detector, the XAD sampling and exhaust tubes are installed in the duct. One thing to notice here is that with XAD, the tubes are on separate plates, making it easier to reuse existing holes in a retrofit installation. The sampling points are connected to the XAD unit with up to 82 feet, or 25 meters, of rigid tubing, or 50 feet, 15 meters, of flexible tubing. This provides a tremendous amount of flexibility for mounting the detector and connecting it to the ductwork. Another unique feature of the XAD is an optional clear water trap with a ball valve that captures water that accumulates from condensation and allows it to be drained well before it has a chance to cause nuisance alarms or troubles. The XAD is an addressable unit that will sit on either an ID net or a map net channel. It is programmed using a duct detector point type and takes two cables. One pair would be for either ID net or map net two communications and the second pair would supply 24 volt DC power to the XAD electronics. The 24 volt DC power operates the fan and the relay driver on the XAD. In addition to configuring the XAD in your panel's operating program, there are a few other settings that must be configured with the XAD during the installation phase. The IDNet device address must be set using the dip switch package like you do with any smoke sensor. The fan speed, the airflow trouble thresholds, and the airflow sensitivity must also be set. Everything can be done at the XAD itself by using these buttons on the side without the need for special tools or programming units. The airflow thresholds and sensitivity settings must be carefully selected based on the application. Improper settings may result in an unnecessary airflow trouble. The XAD is rated for an air velocity range of 0 to 4,000 feet per minute or 0 to 1,220 meters per minute. This wide range is possible because the XAD uses active air sampling and it is continuously drawing air into the unit regardless of the rate of flow through the duct. This also means that the airflow through the unit may be supervised and a trouble signaled if it is out of calibrated ratings something no traditional duct detector can do. The LEDs on the front of the unit indicate airflow levels. Let's watch what happens when I block the airflow going to the unit. You can see the LEDs are indicating reduced airflow. Eventually, the panel will go into trouble. Here you can see that the panel is indicating a duct detector abnormal trouble. Let me silence it. At the duct detector unit, I would see that my airflow has been reduced, indicating a possible rupture or obstruction of the sampling tubes, or perhaps a dirty filter. A trouble could also signal 
that the airflow has increased past calibration limits due to open or ruptured return or exhaust piping. The XAD includes a replaceable filter element for the air inlet. During normal use, this filter element can eventually become contaminated with dust particles, impeding airflow. If not regularly cleaned, this will eventually cause a trouble. The frequency of filter replacement and cleaning depends on the environmental conditions, but it is recommended that the filter be changed at least once a year. Since the unit can be mounted in an easy to access area, it makes testing much easier. The test plug can be removed to introduce smoke-like particles from an aerosol test can. This meets NFPA annual functional test requirements, Canadian system verification requirements, and annual inspection criteria. For commissioning or verification of the installation, the unit can also be tested with a magnet. Remember, this will only test the electronics of the device and make sure they are functioning and is not a substitute for the annual NFPA functional smoke test. Thanks for joining us for this Spotlight Series video on the XAD detector. I hope it helps you better understand this innovative solution.